NCTV 45, The Train, anytime on your time. Folks, wow. welcome to the Badula Show, extra featuring Jay and Jay. Uh, it's another wonderful day today in the neighborhood. Uh, you can contact us at nctv45.com, nctv45 at gmail.com, 724-510-7345. Roku, V3 TV in the UK. And uh, soon, other and, things. And you soon, know? other things. Um, and just to give people a little background, uh, due to many requests, we are bringing back the ever-popular segment uh, we like to just entitle books. Yeah. Well, just simplicity, sleaze, and books. Right there. Yeah. This, well, this book, is it really what? No, it's it is not. Pamphlet. No, it's, it's a no, book. No, technically, it, that's, is, uh, that's a no, pamphlet. That's a book that Elmer, be a Elmer book. reads this book. In uh, fact, this is Elmer's book. In fact, if everything goes well, Elmer will probably uh, be on the show. Uh, by the end of the week, he, that's what he, I got a stupid message from him, as always. He claims he has this uh, car. Or, remember the U beer guy, mm -hmm. Wayne? I don't know. He, I guess he's spending some time in prison. Yeah. Because he, he did the DUI, the DWI, the FBI, whatever he did. And, and then the whole driving without a license. Right, right. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. So here, uh, Elmer wanted me to talk about this book and read a couple little uh, pieces uh, from it. And I, I am. He, he said this book. Uh, is about Frozen. So here, just, just, let me just read this. Like so the keep, keep it open. I don't know. He, he just gave this book to me, and he, he said, here, take this book, and then he walked away. I don't know where he went. He said he was walking toward uh, Mahoning Town? Never heard of it. No, neither did I. Well, go, so, go ahead. So, let me, let me okay. bring some of these books over here. So, go ahead. so it just says this. Um, yeah, let me show you guys the picture right there. Right there. And, and here's what it says, and, and he really likes this book. Uh, Frozen, and that's what she wants to be called, Frozen. Frozen took the horse and rode it and rode it and rode it and rode it and rode it. Hmm. And then... So it was definitely at his reading level then. Right, and rode Good it. for him. So I guess she liked riding. What did he write? Yes, what did she write? she rode the horse. And she was frozen. She was frozen when she was on the uh, horse. So she was frozen to the horse. Right. And then she had the guy from Dumb and Dumber go over there and try to lick her off the horse, mm -hmm. but his tongue got stuck. Sounds like a uh, Stretch Marks movie night. <laughs> Maybe that'll be in August. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm bumping it. But yeah, uh, and I didn't even want to like go there, so to speak, but that's what happened to her. She was frozen to, to the, the horse. horse. And the guy from, what's the actor's name? He, he happened to be yeah. in the area filming another movie, Dumb and Dumber, Dumb Billy Dumber. Billy Bob Thornton. Dumb. This is yeah. so stupid that I'm going to make another Dumb, Dumb, mm -hmm. and Dumber. But she says, I need your help. He goes, okay. He goes, I've done these things before. So he tried to lick something, and his tongue got stuck. Mm. So anyway, so here it is. So if you get a chance, it's um, two cents. Why don't you take a minute and clear your throat? Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, Just take take a second. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, Janet Reno has written her autobiography, uh, Fearless 14. Uh, speaking Ooh. of her 14 years uh, as part of the Clinton administration, um, just a quick. Is that what Janet Reno did? No. She, she was, was the uh, attorney, attorney general. general. Another great under one. Clinton. Well, or, or on top of them. Them. It, it, you know how that goes with him. Yeah. Um, yes, it's 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 again, a comedy. Um, really, but there's uh, Janet Reno doing yeah. comedy. So half man, I, I, half boy. I don't know if I should read this verbatim. Uh, there's uh -huh. some language in it, but uh, let, Is let's there just fishing read. Involved? Let's just read an Is excerpt it verbatim. I got. Um, it says, "How long?" Clinton asked. Hard to say. It undecidedly grows on its own. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to knock again in 10 minutes and she'll go to the dinner and whatever she's got on. Jez, Nancy said and closed the door. Boy, you're tight, I told Quentin. These are the actual words, words out of this book. Uh, I was really desperate, so it's a hollow threat, Mr. Clinton. Wow, he said. I'm from the Ginger Rogers collection. No. I can't read anymore. That's ridiculous. Do you want me to? Yeah, well, you, would you is there something? something in there? There's oh. something I saw. Uh, yeah. This is when. Go, go ahead, go ahead, just talk. Well, I was just going to mention that there was a piece in there where Hillary caught them. And I guess she was uh, stuck to a horse. She was, it was frozen. Mm. And uh, he came in. I, 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 what page is that? Uh, I'm, I, I'm looking. I, do you, do you, you read the book? Right. Yes. Because I, I spoke with Janet Reno the other night, and I asked her about Waco. Oh, you did? Waco, yeah. Yeah, she is a little wacko. No, she asked me if I had a match. I said asthma. Yeah, I don't yeah. think she had it. Yeah. Well, go ahead and why don't you read an excerpt? I think. I well, I think anything. if it's the one I thought you told me during our uh, rehearsal, it was on page two hundred and fifty-four. Yeah, there it is. There it is, right there. So as we continue Janet Reno's book, and again she's Ivanovich, of course she would, because of what happened right. with Waco and Ilian Gonzalez. Remember that little boy? He came over on a raft. And, you know, she tried to send him back, whatever. Anyway, so it's Fearless 14. This is about you know, 14 years. Again, she was with Bill Clinton. And here's something she wrote. She said, Job. I think it's Job. Job. Yeah, that, that was the... Yes, it's Job. Yeah, member's name. Yeah, and, and she says, wet work. Mm. Yikes, said Bill. Yikes. Yeah, mm -hmm. she made an impression. And then she made a suggestion. Come up to my place for mm. some coffee or tea or me. Mm. Wow. And then she said, Janet's rapper, so rapper, rap. They called Janet the rapper. Rapper, rapper, rap. You know what she's after. Mm. She makes a suggestion. And then again, she makes an impression. Come up to my place. And then here, Bill went into her room. and For tea. <laughs> for tea. And he got stuck to her. Because mm. she was frozen. Unexpectedly. Yeah, because he was singing to her. T for two. Two for T. Mm. Me for you. You for me. Right. And then he sang, you're as cold as ice. Mm. You're willing to sacrifice on love. And then the guy from Dumb and Dumber came in and he says, look, I see you're stuck to her. You're frozen. So he put his tongue on both parties. Mm. And until it was 1999. Mm. Excellent. Wow. Great mm. autobiography. It really is. It, it's, it's you don't keeps you in your seat. That's for listen, sure. Listen, let me just explain this to you again. We talked the other day. Cedar points, dredge marks, all kind of things you can do. Hey, how about this? Forget yeah, Pokemon. How about reading a book? Right. You can get this one right here. Public library. It's frozen between the cheeks. Or the it's, confluence. Yeah. Or you can get Fearless at fourteen. Janet mm -hmm. Reno's new riveting novel mm -hmm. about her, Bill Clinton, and riding horses. Uh, a new book, I, I don't know where she finds the time, honestly, to pen these books, but uh, another one from uh, our wonderful Hillary Clinton. Uh, she goes by the, uh, what did they call that, the Suda? Suda pseudonym. Pseudonym. Uh, what's the, the name for uh, author? Uh-huh. Author. Right. Author. author. Uh, no, I think that was uh, Dudley Dudley Moore. Right. He was author. Uh, she goes by Lori Wick, yeah. but it's actually Hill Lori. Is, uh, oh, where she gets that you from. You finally caught on um, to that. Just above the law um, is Whoa. the entitled book, uh, which she's obviously. This entitled. just came out, right? Before right, the just convention. Came out. Just or came after out. the convention. Uh, yeah. Odd timing for the release of the book, but what yeah. I think she's planning on doing is she realizes she's probably going to lose the election, so she has a nice fallback to make millions of dollars. Yeah, forget uh, doing speeches for $500,000 right. a speech. Just Go ahead. Write books. Um, and I'll, I'll link it to, it's interesting how all these books intertwine. Uh, chapter 14, um, which is very interesting. It kind of talks about how he, how she caught Bill and Janet together. Um, it right. says, she refers to Janet as Mr. Somner in, in this part. Uh, Mr. How Somner. was Mr. Somner when you left the house yesterday? Troy being Bill, 
again, we can't name names. Right, right. Uh, so I'll just, I'll read it as it actually is. How was Janet when you left the house yesterday? Bill asked of Hillary when she worked on the breakfast table. Actually, I stomped him in the morning and he was wide awake. Wow. And resting comfortably. Nice. That's terrible to hear. I'm sorry you didn't get him to fall asleep faster. Well, he was full up on pie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pie, Hillary asked, <laughs> having wondered about its disappearance. That's all you had was pie? Janet announced, pretty much, Bill loves pie. And you would know that if you asked him. He prefers cherry. Um, I think that's just enough said right there. Yeah, cherry uh, pie. Good song, too. He, that, he was, I think he co-wrote that with Winger, She's My Cherry Pie, right. which is a huge uh, song that they played down at the stretch bar. Mm -hmm. She's my cherry pie. Remember that? That's an interesting book. It is. I, I could Boy. sit out on the porch in my rocking chair. It's a chair. quick read. It really is a quick read. Uh, yeah. Excellent, excellent book. She, she, uh, so that is by Hillary Clinton, it is by uh, Hillary Above Clinton. the Law. Above the Law. And, you know, there's a piece back here. Here it is, right here, that uh, I, I thought, you know, was fascinating. Now, this is when Hillary Clinton walks down the steps at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, this is a good excerpt. Yeah, Jan Janet yeah. Reno's there with Loretta Janet's Lynch. Janet's not exactly quiet. No, she's not. And, and uh, Jim Comey, the FBI director, they're all sitting downstairs, and the lights are out. And Just to set here's what happens. Free. Bill comes down and he says, what the hell is going on? He turns on the lights and he <clears> notices <throat> Hillary, Jim Comey, FBI director. Not to be confused with Jim Tomey, the ex-Indian. Right. Loretta Lynch, the attorney general. Not to be confused with they Loretta Lynch. all nude playing Twister. Mm. He said, what the hell is going on? Loretta Lynch says, you have to refer to Mr. Comey mm. to get an answer. Mm. So Bill asked, hey, Jim, or JC is what he calls him, what the hell is going on? He said, you have to refer to Hillary. Mm. And then it all happened at once. The lights went off, the sparklers went on, mm. and the glow in the dark mm. stuff yeah. began to fly. Yeah. Man, Boy, it's, it's how do you it, not want to read this? That's behind the scenes. That's it's behind our stuff. right. It is. It is interesting stuff. Get that book. Um, this is a New York Times best-selling author. Uh, this particular person wrote the book Stalker, um, which I think is very interesting. It's called The Forgotten. Hmm. Um, what's the name of it? The Forgotten. What'd you say it was? Yep. And uh, what's very interesting about this book is it's blank. Wow. Nice. Because apparently Faye... She forgot the right in it. Right. Forgot the right. That's why it's called The Forgotten. Wow, the publisher, I think... Uh, Might have yeah, dropped you're the right. ball. Yeah, it, look at it. Wow, let me There see. is a foreword, which I, I find interesting. Well, the place, that's Chris Paul. Right. All right, here we go. So, yeah, just... Wow. A lot of blank. Huh. A lot of blank. Well, it's, it seems um, like a good book. Right. Well, I like the cover. It's, a, again, a quick read. A very quick very read. Quick. Well, Elmer, just Elmer probably. And look, she even put her picture. She remembered to put her picture on right. the back of it. But again, ladies and gentlemen, lost for words. Uh, Rhea Perlman wrote the foreword for the uh, book. She did? Yes. Uh, I thought she was in for me. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. What's, what do you right. got there? Well, no, I was going to say, why don't you uh, talk to our friends about this book? Oh, uh, man. This is near and dear to your heart, so mm -hmm. uh, I thought you'd like to go This This so. is um, Dick Francis, and he has a, a, a donkey. Well, it's actually, it's co-authored by Dr. Dick Francis. Uh -huh. uh, he prefers Richard, uh, Dr. Dick Francis, and Monsignor Felix Francis. Right. Uh, which Felix... Uh, has a striking resemblance to John Candy, but uh, he's actually a padre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he played, uh, I think, with... Uh, Planes, trains, and automobiles, correct. No, he, he played was first John... base for the padres. You said he was right. a padre. Correct. And he played first base. That's why yeah. he's called Monsignor. That's right. But this this is... They got God, together on this book. Uh, I, I, they got together on this. This is a donkey, and what happened was they, they bet each other 
okay? When they were growing up, they always said, I wonder if a donkey could win a horse race. Mm. And boy, uh, they just went after each other yeah. with this for years. And here, they ended up purchasing a donkey from Auntie M's farm uh, uh, by Wilmington. And they trained this donkey. And the donkey competed. From a colt, believe it or not. From a colt. Mm. And, he, and he competed against Secretariat and just did not win, but ended up in second place. And they were just totally baffled by the whole mm. thing. And because well, he kept actually, saying, you're not going to make an ass out of me. As, That's what he said. The uh, film ahead. shows that actually the donkey was not in second place. It was right behind Secretariat, but it had been lapped. Uh, hmm. Which is interesting considering they only run one lap yeah and it says right here too thank you you're welcome and and, and he mm -hmm. says padre says Where, what did you say because i said thank you mm. he says well i really appreciate everything you've done for my ass mm. so and that's that's where they left it. Yeah. yeah so well, at least it ends on good terms because i know there was some contention between padre and uh What's the uh, uh, Richard, Doctor Richard. Richard? Yeah, Francis. Um, well, yeah, it's one played Major League Baseball, the uh -huh. other was a doctor, and I guess they had some issues at Thanksgiving. Right. Uh, but you know, it, it's wow. it's so funny because I mean, these gentlemen look. I mean, how could John you not? Madden. That's John Madden. How could you not see the resemblance? I mean, they right. look but in, identical. Yeah, identical. Yeah. So. No, I, I, li I liked it. And that wasn't I, John. No. It wasn't? And twins, no. That was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and Dan Joe DeVito. Pesci. Right. It, but you know what? I, from what I understand, mm -hmm. they're in the process of uh, writing a treatment for a future film. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Go ahead. It'll be the follow-up to Secretariat. And it's Francis, the, the donkey. Mule. No, 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 no. What? It's Francis is the padre. Oh, I thought he was a Sisi. Francis of Assisi. Right. Sicily. Oh. Huh? from the old country. Cecilia. Right. Go ahead. Let's just one now. Uh, our last book. Uh, just get people. See, they love these segments. Right. They keep on uh, th this was, the, there was a forward, or I guess this really wouldn't be the forward because it's in the back of the book. It's called A Wonderful Novel, Wild, Radiant, and Vivid. I've never had so much fun with, oh, I can't think, I don't think I can read that. What would happen? Okay, go ahead. By herself. Right. In bed. So, Go ahead. Is, it, is the donkey with her? The appliance. Oh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Let me let me do this while right. you're doing it. Go ahead. I'll be well, back. it's it's a wonderful novel. It's called uh, again Magic Hour, one of uh, Hannah's most compelling compelling and riveting novels. It's a how-to instruction manual of if you're a woman and have a man that uh, how do I put this delicately. Uh, can't please you uh, in the ways you need pleased and you have some time by yourself and let's be honest we all have time by ourselves um, this is a how-to book of to make yourself happy uh, again I don't know how to put this delicately uh, Jimmy how would I put that delicately um, to, to make yourself happy to uh, when you uh, no I don't want to say pleasure because what that, that insinuates Anyhow, it's magical hour. It took her an hour. Uh, she had gotten a lot better at it, so she was down to 15 minutes. That by doesn't the end of the make book. her a. No. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. But she's very about ish it. about talking about it. Wow. Oh. And sometimes she daydreams about. Wow. Well, if she was an elementary school teacher, that's. Yeah, in Pennsylvania, because that's where usually these teachers, for some reason, have to So, date. Kristen, Hannah, congratulations, yeah. honey. I'm glad to see you found something that, uh, yeah. Well, hey, the Pokemon Go, as you all know, we, we bought the app, and we got some of the characters. They sent us some of the characters. This is Boy George, mm -hmm. and um, if you press his butt cheeks, he sings, Come a, 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 come you're gonna love this especially when you find them you got to get the app it's ten dollars for the app but again you press his butt cheeks if you press his navel he sings I'll tumble for ya I'll, I'll tumble, tumble for ya, ya. I'll, I'll tumble, tumble for right there boy George so it's wow the things that they have today to keep you entertained mm -hmm. you know wonderful uh, then they have um, right here this is a set it's a right. buy three 
get three, right. uh, which is something that you just can't get mm -hmm. uh, nowadays. Buy three, get three. So. Buy three, get free, and this is uh, picking a blanket. This is goes the, by Edgar, right? And, and this is what you'll see when you go down to stretch marks. It's usually in the bathrooms and on the walls. If right. you walk, it's really in, their mascot, to be quite honest with is. you. It's called pig in a blanket. You love it. Uh, just you ask. Take, just, just ask. And mm -hmm. you could squeeze it. You could put mud on it. Mm -hmm. You could fight it in the mud. You can dip it. Dip it in mud. You can or put fudge. chocolate on it. You right. can put whipped cream on it. Right. Um, it's just a nice thing to have put hot for the holidays, wax on too. It. You know, you well, can holidays are coming it. up. You can asphyxiate it. Uh, yeah. You can do any of those things. Yeah, and, and uh, he just goes right along with the show. Uh -huh. And then in the you end. You have to pay extra for it. No, not he doesn't in the end. Nothing? Nope. No. I thought that's he said in the end. He won't da, 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 that's all, folks. He doesn't say that anymore? He might, okay. if you squeeze him hard enough. Okay. And then you would have to pay extra for that as well. Right. And then this one is absolutely self explanatory. Um, mm -hmm. You know, th those of you that do frequent stretch marks and get a little frustrated. Right. Surely the sheep is your friend. Surely the sheep is your friend. And again, you can get this set if you order now. It's as seen right here on the J&J uh, show, podcast slash podcom. You get these. Or the Pillow Show, extra. Oh, that's right, featuring whatever the heck we're whatever. And, and here, Boy George. So when we do go three out little on our pigs. Own, like, what are we going to name the show? What do you, uh, with this show? Are we just going to go with J&J? What do you mean? Or are we going to go Padula Show Extra? Because uh, uh, the Padula Show Extra sounds like this is just thrown together. Like yeah. we don't rehearse this. Like we don't really focus. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you make and, a good point. You make a good. You make a very very good point. It's like a lot to think about. You know, huh? so we need to like get a better name. Yeah, and and we need like when you talk about branding and everything. I mean, we do have the the. Uh, the iron. We have the, the new guy. Uh, yeah, the branding Frank. iron, which is right there on 422. Right. As you're heading out toward. Uh, PA. Tony Carbone's blows, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so get... Uh, oh, we were supposed said, to mention the cigar place, the oh, Jack in the Box. Box Car Cigars over in Volant, Pennsylvania. Volant? Is that close to Volant? <laughs> it's close to Volant. Good. Get a cigar and head on down. Monica Lewinsky will be there. No, we don't want to because everybody says that's stupid, stupid stuff. Saying. But she will be there, and she'll be... Uh, True enough. <laughs> she'll it's be kind there. of ironic, Yeah, really. we don't want to get in, but she'll be don't there, you and um, you'll... you'll She'll well, be there she has a funny cigars. way, right? And she is a funny way of lighting, signing, up. lighting, and lighting. Hey, see, folks, guys, come on. We'll get see you tomorrow. There. Get in the picture. Buy three, get three, folks. We'll see you tomorrow.